Good afternoon, dear colleagues and guests. Let us open the meeting of the Dissertation Council for defending a thesis submitted by Goralnik Roman Igorevich for the degree of Candidate of Science in Physics and Mathematics in the Specialization 513.11 Mathematical and Programming Software Support of Computers, Complexes and Computer Networks on the topic Incremental Algorithms for Solving Optimization Problems on Big Graphs. According to the order of St. Petersburg State University from June 5th, 2019, number 6173-1, I, Yuri Kazimirovich Dimyanomit, Doctor of Science in Physics and Mathematics, Professor, Head of the Department of Parallel Algorithms, St. Petersburg State University, was appointed Chairman of the Dissertation Council. And let me introduce my fellow members of the Council, Andrei Terekhov. Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Professor, Head of the Department of System Programming at St. Petersburg State University. Igor Besmertny, Doctor of Technical Sciences, Professor of St. Petersburg National Research University of Information Technology, Mechanics and Optics. Sergei Pesnikov. Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Professor at the Ulyana Flenin St. Petersburg State Electrotechnical University, Leti. And Robert Tremble, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Professor of Poznan Technical University, Poland, is working remotely with us. At first, I would like to especially note that according to federal law number 127 of August 23, 1996 on science and the state scientific and technical policy, St. Petersburg State University received the right to independently award scientific degrees, the corresponding order on the procedure for awarding academic degrees on the basis of which we conduct our council meeting was issued on September the 1st, 2016, number 6821-1, here and after referred to as the order. Due to the order, the meeting of the dissertation council is considered valid if at least two-thirds of the approved participants of the Dissertation Council, but not less than four people, take part in the meeting. Our Dissertation Council consists of five people. Everyone is present, including one remote member online. He is provided with audiovisual contact. Thus, there is a quorum. I establish the following rules for today's meeting of the Dissertation Council with a total duration of not more than two hours. First, a brief report by the chairman on the main content of the document submitted by the applicant and their compliance with the established requirements. Question and answer session. Five minutes. Two, a brief report of the applicant's scientific degree reflecting the main provisions of the research. Fifteen minutes. Third, questions to the applicant based strictly on the report. No more than two minutes for each question. The answers of the applicant. Four, Speeches of all the members of the Dissertation Council with their reviews outlining their positions with questions and suggestions to the Dissertation, no more than 10 minutes for the speaker. Fifth, speech by the Chairman with a review, answers of the applicant to questions and comments of members of the Dissertation Council, no more than 15 minutes. Open discussion, speeches at the request of those present at the thesis defense with a brief statement of their positions and or with specific questions and suggestions suggestions to the author strictly on the topic of the research, no more than five minutes for each person. At this time, all those who wish to please register in the registration form, and here it is, and before asking, please introduce yourself. The final answers of the applicant to the questions asked, no more than five minutes, speech by the scientific supervisor of the applicant, no more than three minutes, tenth, five-minute discussion before an open vote to reach a conclusion on whether or not to award a degree from St. Petersburg State University to the applicant for the time being discussed, the results of the defense are turned off. Open roll call. 
counting of votes by the chairman of the dissertation council with the results recorded in the minutes of the meeting. Twelfth, the decision to award or not to award a degree of St. Petersburg State University. Thirteen, the final word of the applicant, not more than two minutes. Before proceeding to the implementation of the rules of the meeting, I recall the need to turn off mobile phones. Thank you for understanding. I also inform you that the video and audio recording of our meeting is being conducted as well as live broadcasting at St. Petersburg State University website, simultaneous translation of speeches from Russian into English or from English into Russian is being carried out. So proceed. Chairman summary report. This is by Guralnik Roman Igorevich for the degree of candidate of science in physics and mathematics in the specialization 51311 mathematical and programming software support of computers, complexes, and computer networks on the topic incremental algorithms for solving optimization problem and big graphs was accepted for defense as of June 5th, 2019, order number 6174-1. The dissertation council was approved by the order from June 5th, 2019, number 6174-1, and June 13, number 6572-1, and I, dear colleagues and guests, have already represented it to you. The applicant submitted the following documents to the scientific secretary. Application to the rector of St. Petersburg State University, Professor Kropachev, on the acceptance of the thesis for review and defense, filed March 25, 2019. Review of the scientific supervisor, Novikov Boris Asenovich, Doctor of Science and Physics and Math, Professor at the Department of Information Analytical Systems. List of publications four works which set out the main scientific results of the thesis, including one article in peer-reviewed scientific publications from the list approved by the Ministry of Education and Science of the Russian Federation and three publications indexed in the Scienceometric Databases, Web of Science and Scopus, Certificate of Candidate Examination number uh, 04 to 20, dated 15th uh, of March 2019, stating that Guralnik Roman Igorich passed the candidate examination in the specialty mathematical and programming software support of computers, complexes, and computer networks, history and philosophy of science, excellent, English language, excellent, mathematical and programming software, good, diploma on mastering the basic educational pro program of higher education issued on July 9th, 2015 at St. Petersburg State University, certifying that Guralnik Roman Igorevich was awarded the degree of mathematician programmer in the field of mathematical support and administration of information systems by the State Attestation Committee dated June 23rd, 2015. 15. Hot copy and e form of the thesis in Russian and English. The thesis is designed in accordance with the requirements of GOST R7. The thesis is printed on a copying machine with an indication of the output data according to GOST R7.0. Point four. It should be noted that all the documents listed correspond to Clause 12 of Section 3, Representation and Defense of Dissertations in St. Petersburg State University, Appendix No. 1 to the Order. Please, short report of the applicant. I recall 15 minutes. Good afternoon. Dear members of the Dissertation Council and guests, a report on the results of the dissertation research on incremental algorithms for solving optimization problem on big graphs will be presented to your attention. Scientific Supervisor Boris Asanovich Novikov. Structurally, the report will be arranged as follows. In the beginning, we will discuss the related problems of data analysis on big graphs described in the first chapter. Then we will describe the original algorithms proposed in the thesis for the tasks of vehicle routing problem with pickup and delivery and resource constraint shortest path. At the end of the report, the main results of the research will be presented. 
the first chapter of the dissertation provides an overview of a wide range of tasks that have been most frequently encountered in scientific literature of recent years. Both the fundamental algorithms proposed 10, 15 or more years ago and the solutions corresponding to the current state of affairs were analyzed. Thus, the tasks of measuring the similarity of nodes in the column or sim rank, the task of maximizing the impact comparison with the sample, the search for network motives, the task of vehicle routing with pickup and delivery, and the task of resource constraints, shortest and paths uh, were considered. Original algorithms are offered for VRPPD and RCSP tasks, so these tasks will be paid more attention to. One of the first references for routine tasks can be found in the work of Kantarovich and Garutin. The authors reviewed several types and suggested some solutions. In 1986, Joel proposed a solution with several vehicles. Nanry and Barnes started a whole family of algorithms uh, called Taboo Search. It is important to note that the work of uh, Zimpekis, where the author proposed an effective procedure for inserting nodes into the root. In recent years, great interest has been shown in the routing of electric vehicles between the charging stations. With regard to RCSP task, the first work to propose uh, solution is a nasious one. The authors proposed a three-phase approach to the solution, pre-processing, the solution of the Lagrangian dual, and the gap closing. Carlyle and Wood proposed to improve the third phase of the approach by introducing evaluation tests and uh, Muhantrimanj and Boland combined the first and the second phases, thus reducing the computational time. Recently, Marinakis et al. successfully applied the particle swarm optimization method. For the incremental staging, a number of authors have proposed solutions for changing the cost of one edge and uh, Zhu has developed an algorithm to rebuild the tree of the shortest possible paths when changing the cost of several edges. The relevance of the incremental approach to problem solving is the following. When working with large amount of data in practice, it may turn out that the data are undergoing small and frequent changes. It can be unprofitable to calculate a new solution after each change. And in modern condition, classical algorithms are not applicable for obtaining a solution accepted in terms of speed. And incremental algorithms can help with the problem. The general approach is the following. The input algorithm, in addition to the standard input data, is also submitted to the existing solution and the list of changes in the column. A distinctive feature of this algorithm is the use of the data to quickly update the existing solution. And we move on to the description of the original algorithm proposed in the dissertation for the routine problem with pickup and delivery. To set up an incremental version of the VRPPD problem, we consider the graph and the metric of distances between nodes. It should be noticed that the client is specified by a couple of nodes in the column, as opposed to the sa uh, salesman problem. As it was said earlier, the existing solution, the rerouting, and the new distance matrix is also used for incremental input. The purpose of the algorithm is to reroute according to the new conditions. Our algorithm consists of two phases. In the first phase, the algorithm runs along the root solution and using the inequalities finds a set of specific nodes which we call FR or first reposition nodes. Then these nodes are removed from the root and reinstalled using the following insertion procedure. Each node has its best fit and time reserve for each node. This parameter then participates in a formula that determines the probability with which a particular node will be inserted. This procedure is repeated until all FR nodes are inserted, receiving a new root. All this turns into a Monte Carlo method to obtain several solutions from which the best one is chosen. The second phase consists of iterations. Each iteration compares two routes. As a result of comparison, the algorithm finds one another set of nodes called 
propagation nodes. These nodes are rearranged using the already described insertion procedure, getting a new root, and uh, thus you get a new root, and if the efficiency of this new root is higher than that of the previous one, a new iteration begins, where at least the last two roots are compared. The algorithm stops only when the root has not been improved. For the algorithm, randomly generated data sets were experimented on, and the experimental efficiency limits were obtained, which can be seen on lines 2 and 6. The ratio uh, B slash 2 and denotes the ratio of the number of found FR nodes to the total number of nodes. It can be noted that with the growth of the ratio, the computational time is growing. However, the quality of the improvement, which is defined as the ratio of travel time of a vehicle between the old and new route, slows down in growth after reaching a certain value. Conversely, with a small amount of change, the quality of the improvement may not be worth the time and resources that have been spent on finding a new solution. Let us move on to the description of the algorithm proposed in the dissertation for the task of resource-constrained shortest possible path to set up the R. CSP task, we have a graph with each, uh, with each edge corresponding to the cost and weight set by the functions as well as the weight limit. In the task of the resource constraint shortest path, it is necessary to find the shortest path in relation to the cost, the total weight of which does not exceed the established limit. For the incremental version, the data and solution calculated earlier are also submitted to the input. The fact that what is the data and where they come from will be said later. The purpose of the algorithm is to find a new optimal path onto the new conditions. Our algorithm is based on uh, Mohandiragme and Boland algorithms. It is built as follows. We assume that there are initial input data on which uh, this algorithm finds a solution. While searching for the solution, we get a certain set of data to be more precise. It is a, all, a set of all executed paths and Lagrangian multiplies for which the shortest path trees are calculated. Then we assume that the input data have changed. Our algorithm that uses the previously calculated data to find a new solution starts here. The operational time of our algorithm is compared with the operational time of the non-incremental algorithm, that is the basis algorithm. The general approach of our algorithm can be described as follows. Starting with the advanced point, the algorithm solves the Lagrangian dual combined with the graph reductions. It should be noted that in the course of solving the Lagrangian dual, the previously calculated trees of the shortest path and the original approach to their incremental update are used. After solving the Lagrangian dual, the algorithm performs the graph reductions and bypasses the resulting graph to find the optimal solution. For the algorithm, uh, were put experiments on the real data sets for the cities Oldenburg left and San Joaquin right. We gradually increased the number of changes in the input column and tracked how the time to find a solution would change. Thus, we managed to obtain an experimental upper limit of efficiency of the algorithm, which was about 15% of the total number of edges. In other words, if the graph has less than 50% uh, of edges change their weight, our algorithm is superior to the non-incremental algorithm in search speed solution. In other cases, it is more profitable to look for a solution from the scratch. Summing up, in the course of the dissertation study, we performed the analysis of the solution methods for the most popular big graph problems described in modern literature devised in your approximate alg algorithm as a solution to the problem of single vehicle incremental rerouting, developed a new exact algorithm as a solution to the problem of the resource constrained shortest path uh, based on incremental Lagrangian dual solution. Experimental efficiency limits were obtained and presented in terms of efficiency threshold values. If there are any questions to the applicant strictly on the report and the answers, not more than two minutes for each question. Unfortunately, 
you haven't uh, presented the main objectives. And the very first objective that I found in the dissertation says that uh, there is a dependency of the time and uh, change. Can you show me? Can you show me the slide? Which slide do you mean? Yes, this one. So the percentage of change and where can you see the dependency that you mentioned in the dissertation? For example, you can see that there are only two graphs here and they have different weights. Do you have this in your slides? Because this is the first objective of the dissertation. Do you show it in the, pr in the presentation? OK. Can you tell me orally about the dependency? How much is that? 10 times? No, we don't have data on that. Any other questions? Can I ask my r remarks from from the dissertation? Why why have you why have you chosen these examples? You use the natural data. And what is the about the practical implementation? Because you need to show the result, it shouldn't be pure science. And uh, for example, our company provides mathematical consultations to business in the market. And haven't you tried to work um, with a logistics company? Unfortunately, no, we haven't tried within our, the scope of the research, and it was pure scientific research, and that's why we need uh, much more resources and time. And, you know, I asked this question because, you know, when I was young back in 1997, 96, and there was a research similar to yours, not with the same algorithms. But we have changed all the routes of the transportation in Leningrad region and in St. Petersburg. And I use uh, bus number uh, 46, and the route of it was changed due to that algorithms. Have you introduced yourself to the people who are working in the sphere, who are working in the market, maybe in Russia or abroad? How can you apply your scientific results in real life to make life in, in the city better for the citizens? I suppose that maybe navigation companies or navigation apps can use pretty similar algorithm because if there are traffic congestions in the city, we have to be able to reroute. But you know, it's the defense procedure, and you cannot say that you suppose you must know that exactly who uses these technologies and algorithms. Unfortunately, I cannot tell the names of the companies, but when I studied the topic, I realized that there were some Greek cities that, that used the system. If there are any other questions. In the name of the dissertation, you mean the optimization. And in the report, I only heard about the vehicle routine and how do you optimize anything. The research was conducted within the framework of studying a wide range of tasks and uh, uh, one of the review, uh, one of the remarks was a huge number of literature sources, and unfortunately, we weren't able to solve all the optimization tasks. So we have chosen the most successful task that we have provided the solution for. If there are no more questions, 
I would like to refer to the reviews. There were no external reviews. And now the dissertation council members, please. Terekhov Andrei Nikolaevich. It is my first time at the dissertation council meeting. And maybe I can only read my remarks. So you feel free to do whatever you want to. We do have some time limitations, but still the topicality is quite clear. Volume, variety, velocity, expressing the requirements for the processing, and the volume of the input data grows. The exact algorithm of the solution is inapplicable under the current requirements of the speed of calculation. And uh, the main purpose of the thesis was to develop new algorithms for solving optimization problems on big graphs using the incremental approach. The methods proposed by the author for solving the considered problems can act as prototypes for solving real commercial problems. Once again, may become the prototype. I highlight this. Does the research presented in the dissertation are relevant and have practical significance for a system working with big data in the form of graphs? Theoretical significance is determined by the presented analysis and classification of modern optimization tasks in systems operating with big graphs such as social networks or urban road systems. Reliability and validity of the results are confirmed by the use of strict mathematical methods. Results of computational experiments and approbation of the main positions of the dissertation was at the international conferences. The scientific novelty of the thesis is determined by a set of new algorithms that emphasize scaling and take into account the dynamic nature of the input data comments on the work. First, it seemed to me that the work is poorly structured. The first chapter is 44 pages long, and I have read them all, and it contains a fairly complete and detailed overview of the existing works. Naturally, it is expected that from the second chapter we will see the presentation of the author's own results, but there we once again face the existing algorithms for comparison in detail, and we have to meticulously look for the original results. Second, I think that the work would have benefited a lot if the concrete implementation had been described. There are many companies for which optimal logistics management would be very useful right now. Instead, we present the graphs of some small towns and the modal load of these graphs. Yes, these experiments have shown a significant advantage, but to what extent do these experiments reflect real life? This is my major question. In your opinion, how do these experiments reflect real life? These remarks do not spoil the overall positive impression of the thesis work. The thesis is performed at a high level and is of theoretical and practical interest. The work is a complete scientific study and the results are new, reliable and reasonable. They were published in four scientific papers and the thesis of Roman Igorevich Goralnik meets the requirements set by the order on awarding degrees in St. Petersburg State University. Applicant Roman Igorevich Goralnik deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of science in physics and mathematics in specialization, mathematical and programming software support of computers, complexes and computer networks. Professor, head of the department, Terikhov. Thank you. You had 10 minutes, but I, you know, I tried, I tried to cut it short. The dissertation of Roman Igorevich is devoted to an actual problem, improvement of methods of processing of the big data.
At, at the same time, graphs di databases are currently the most common method of presenting data with a large number of connections, such as social networks, food chains, urban roads, and others. However, modern systems that rely on graph databases to solve problems often require real-time work. Given the high rate of growth in the volume of information that requires analysis, there is a natural need to increase the speed of data processing and find the necessary solutions. In addition, it should be not forgotten that in practice the data are often dynamic in nature, which also makes it difficult to support the optimality of current solutions when working with large amounts of data. In the dissertation work, new algorithms are offered to the tasks of routing of transport with pickup and delivery and resource constraint shortest path to achieve the results, scalability and high speed of calculations in the development of algorithms, the author decided to use an incremental approach to solving problems. The algorithms were not designed to find a solution from the very beginning. Their task was to update the existing solution with the help of analysis of changes occurring in the input data. And because some algorithms, they do work really well. And it is necessary to know that the solutions of the problem considered in the thesis are used in one of the most important infrastructures, providing the work of the city's transport systems of deliveries, route, and logistics actively use the theory of graphs and tasks on graph databases. And here I present the technical sciences, but in the dissertation, I see a very high practicality in this dissertation. And in reality, each transportation task can be updated with uh, certain reroutings, pretty small reroutings, and it's very pragmatical approach that should be implemented with mathematical methods. Reliability and validity of the results are confirmed by the use of strict mathematical methods, clear proofs or statements, and approbation of the main position of works at international conferences. There are following remarks for the dissertation. The author uses the concept of small changes in the column in the graph but does not give its definition. Meanwhile, it is obvious that the changes which are not related to the current route can significantly increase the operation time of the incremental algorithm. Even some pretty small changes which do not comply with the root. The text of chapter 3 pays a lot of attention to the description of someone else's algorithm. The experiments of the third chapter are put on not very big graphs with the size of tens of thousands of vertices which allow us to demonstrate uh, the advance of the proposed algorithm. On page 70a, the candidate notes the absurd range of experimental results but does not give any statistical characteristics. And that's weird. These remarks do not spoil the overall positive impression of the thesis work, and the thesis is performed at a high level and is of theoretical and practical interest and importance. The work is a complete scientific study, and the results, conclusions, and proposed methods are new, reliable, and reasonable. The results of the dissertation are published in four scientific papers, one of which is published in a scientific publication included in the list of higher attestation commission, and three works are published indexed in the international databases Scopus and Web of Science. The thesis by Roman Igorevich Koralnik meets the requirements set by the order on awarding degrees in St. Petersburg State University. Applicant Guralnik Roman Ingarich deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of science in physics and mathematics in specialization 51311. Paragraph 11 of the mentioned audit is not violated. Doctor of Technical Sciences, Associate Professor, Department of Software Engineering and Computer Engineering, Bismirny Igor Alexandrovich. Thank you. Сергей Николаевич.
The dissertation is devoted to an actual problem improvement of methods of processing of big data. Developments in this area have direct practical application in systems using big crafts such as social networks or road systems. The novelty of the approach lies in the fact that the author uses an incremental approach to solve problems which allows increasing the efficiency of updating the current solution with minor changes in the input data. On the basis of the concept, the author offers new algorithms of already existing problems with the purpose of reduction of computational time on large volumes of the input data. Main scientific results. The first chapter provides an overview of the most common problems on graphs databases. Sim rank, influence maximization, pattern matching and other tasks are considered for, mm, for this the most significant options of their solutions are collected and uh, systemized, starting from the initial method and ending it with the methods corresponding to the current state of affairs, the necessity of scalability of solution in the case of dynamic graphs, and as a consequence, the use of incremental approach is justified. The second chapter is devoted to the solution of the problem of vehicle routing with B cup and delivery or VRPPD. The author proposes a new algorithm to solve the task and describes its implementation. For the algorithm, the estimation of its computational complexity is found and experiments are carried out. Statistical analysis of the experiment allowed to express the efficiency of the algorithm in terms of the threshold values. In other words, the limits of effective application were found. The third chapter analyzes the methods of solving the problem of resource constraint shortest path and describe a new incremental algorithm to reduce the computational time after updating the input data. The proposed algorithm is based on the basic algorithm by uh, Mohan Diramje and Boland, which finds the original solution from scratch before making changes. The algorithm uses the initial solution and analyzing changes in the input data quickly updates the solution. For the proposed algorithm, experiments on real data sets were carried out. The model of congestion of urban roads for the use of an applied of the problem was built, similar to the algorithm from the second chapter, the statistical analysis is carried out and experimental estimations of the limits of applicability of the algorithm are obtained. The scalability and the computational time advantage in comparison with the basic algorithm are proved, provided that the input data graph has not changed much. The following drawbacks can be noted. In the third chapter, the formula for the distribution of the initial ways of graphs H is conditional, despite the the fact that the formula has logical basis in practice. It may turn out that the actual distribution of weights on the roads differs from the distribution obtained using the proposed formula. Experiments on real data require a separate congestion analysis, which may not have been part of the presented study. In the experimental section of Chapter 3, it is not obvious that a specific example of a resource constrained path problem has been chosen, that is the use of congestion as a graph edge weight. These shortcomings do not affect the quality of the work presented and the thesis of Roman Igorevich Goralnik on the topic incremental algorithms for solving optimization problems on big graphs meets the requirements set by the order on awarding degrees in St. Petersburg State University and the applicant deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of science in physics and mathematics in specialization 051311 mathematical and programming software support of computers, complexes and computer networks. Paragraph 11 of the mentioned order is not violated by the applicant, doctor of pedagogical sciences, algorithm mathematics department professor. Pazhnikov Sergei Nikolaevich. Thank you. Thank you, Sergei Nikolaevich. Now, and now, I would like to give the floor to Robert Ramble, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, please. Okay, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, Short comment, I am a, a doc 
professor of computer science, not physics and mathematics. So this is, uh, and then uh, I'm going to summarize my uh, review. And the first part of my review concerns the general overview of the topic of the thesis. And I'm uh, stating here that uh, problems relating, related to graph processing have been um, important for many years and uh, we can, by analyzing top conferences like SIGMOD, VLDB, ICDE, we see that there are a lot of papers related to graph processing. Even the latest VLDB journal addresses this problem. So from the point of view of the, assuming, okay, uh, the topic is really important, is one of the hot topics in uh, computer science right now. And then um, I'm trying to uh, say, discover the motivation of using graphs. And then uh, we see that uh, graphs are used in social networks, workflow management, bioinformatics, and transportation and traffic control, which is uh, strictly related to the topic of this thesis. Then I'm stating that uh, problems related to graphs are computationally complex, which is uh, ge generally challenging and is of very great importance to, to be able to solve these problems. Then the problem, the particular problem of uh, routing uh, has a strong influence on uh, economical aspects of, for example, transport companies as it directly relates to saving money. And in this context, the, the, the thesis by Roman Igorevich Guralnik addresses complex problem and important problem. Two contributions of these thesis were, were proposed. And then I'm going to the, uh, to the second section, which is on uh, the contribution. And in my opinion, the first contribution is the development of an algorithm for solving the resource constraint shortest part, path problem. And the second contribution is uh, the algorithm for real-time rerouting of vehicles. Okay, then I'm stating that uh, the algorithms uh, were uh, like revised, the, the, the contribution is based on previous works in this area. So um, the development, I mean, the, the, the idea is uh, an update or great, uh, great update of previous works. And then uh, finally, I'm saying that uh, fortunately, which is a very good of, of each, every PhD thesis, the obtained results were evaluated by experiments and that uh, the experiments, the results obtained are generally promising. So uh, that shows or gives the chance to be applicable in practice, in, in real problems. Then I'm stating that uh, the, the, the thesis the contributions of the thesis are supported by four publications and uh, the quality of, publica of these publications, the number of these publications, it fulfills the requirement of a PhD, generally. Then, section three is uh, the, evaluate, the, the detailed evaluation of the thesis and it, it has two parts, two subsections, major comments and minor issues, and I'm going to skip my minor issues. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions to, the, to this dissertation. And the first question is uh, about the state of the art. Okay, if we looked at the DBLP, Bibliographical Database in Computer Science, I counted. There are 75 papers published on the only on the shortest path problem in 2019. Whereas in the thesis, 
we see that the, the related work analysis includes uh, rather old papers. And the question is why the, the most recent related work is not included in the thesis. Second question, it is unclear how the second phase, alternative path in the second phase, alternative paths are selected. Okay, so uh, are all possible alternative paths traversed? It seems that uh, only the cost associated to edges are modified and considered, like in the, in the first step. And then um, the question is, what about changes in the topology of a graph? How uh, removing a given path is handled? Removing a path is a typical case of road closing. Then uh, the third uh, question, I may, I maybe I will, I will skip the third question, I will go to the fourth one. Page 132, step two, what do you mean by, and I'm citing now, extensive experiments show that the best results can be achieved. And my question is, the best, what, what do you mean by best? What is the criterion for comparing your results? Then a uh, question regarding section 2.3. I failed to see a clear statement whether the experimental evaluation confirms or not the computational complexity obtained theoretically. Section 3.7, my question is whether the results are optimal or probably suboptimal. Since this is a, the computationally complex problem, there is a threat that you will not be able to find an optimal solution in a given time. And uh, finally, figure 3.2, which presents the performance of the algorithm contributed in this dissertation for two different graphs that are representing two different road connections. And my question is, do the performance of your algorithms depend, depend on the shape of a graph? Like the average, well, we, we, can, we can describe the shape of a graph by various metadata like the average number of ingoing and outgoing edges or the average length of a path. So my question is whether the, the performance depends on at least these two parameters, the average number of ingoing, outgoing edges or the average length of a path. So these are the questions. And the, the last part of my review is the final recommendation where I'm stating that the, the comments that I presented, questions, show the area of potential improvement, and this is uh, they should be treated as a starting point for, this, the, for the discussion. And uh, my opinion on the dissertation is that it contributes solutions to research and technological problems in the area of graph processing and I found a practical application of, of these solutions. And my final, my final word is that uh, this uh, dissertation should be accepted for an oral defense. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. I am sorry. Uh, uh, spicy. Uh, that uh, we have some errors uh, now. That now I have to read my own review, the review of the chairman of the dissertation council on the dissertation by Goralnik Roman Igorevich on the topic incremental algorithms for solving optimization problems on big graphs submitted for the degree of candidate of science in physics, mathematics, in specialization, mathematical and programming software support of computers, complexes and computers.
The dissertation is devoted to the development of the algorithms for solving optimization problems and graphs which use the data obtained at the previous stage of research. Thanks to the approach, it is possible to study big graphs in real time and save significantly the resources of the computer systems. The topic of the thesis is relevant. The goal set in the dissertation is to develop algorithms to solve problems and graphs with a rapid update of their state for the transport problem and for the problem of resource constraints shortest possible path is achieved. The deep analysis of the work devoted to the problems of search um, Almost half of the dissertation is devoted to the analysis, and in our opinion, it is this analysis that led to the dissertation to the success in achieving the set goal. Strictly uh, proved statements of the dissertation are accompanied by clearly formulated algorithms and program schemes demonstrating the undoubted feasibility of the approach proposed by the dissertation, which are called incremental algorithms in the dissertation. The essence of this approach is lies in the systematic use of the results of the previous analysis under consideration. The large volume of graphs arising in practice does not allow to neglect the results obtained at the previous stage of research. The paper provides for the possibility of gradual change in the structure of the graph over time, taking into account the fact that such changes are usually quite slow and relate to a small amount of data. Um, all the results obtained by the dissertation also are new, strictly valid, and have considerable theoretical and practical significance. The statement is logically orderly and stylistically verified. It was very difficult to find drawbacks, although we managed to find some typos. See, for example, page 20. Sometimes different terms are used for the same concept. See pages 14 and 25. These shortcomings do not affect the quality of the work presented. The thesis of Roman Igorevich Goralnik on the topic incremental algorithms for solving optimization problems on big crops meets the requirements set by uh, the order on awarding degrees in St. Petersburg State University. The applicant, Guralnik Roman Igorevich, deserves to be awarded the degree of Candidate of Science in Physics and Mathematics in Specialization 051311, Mathematical and Programming Software Support of Computers, Complexes and Computer Networks. Paragraph 11 of the mentioned order is not violated by the applicant chairman, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Professor, Head of the Department of Parallel Algorithms, Demyanovich Yuri Kazimirovich. The applicant, the floor is yours. I would like to answer uh, Dr. Ramble's questions in English. Dr. Ramble, can you hear can the you applicant? Hear? Yes. Uh, can you hear me? I, I don't hear you. Hello, hello. No. Uh, yes. Uh, um, first of all, thank you. Uh, so, my, excuse me, excuse me, to clarify, clarify, 
Да, я хотел бы немного прояснения. И таким образом в вашем алгоритме все возможные изменения в топологии графа, они все-таки учитываются. Я думаю, что если мы продолжаем Hello. изменять дуги, то действительно, да, это возможно. Um, I'm... Я... Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay, okay. Yes, now I can hear you. But, but I didn't hear your answer, nothing. <laughs> uh, for, for which question did you not hear no, my answer? Okay, I asked you a question whether your... Oh, you mean uh, the changes in topology. Yes, the algorithm can handle the cases of deleting an edge uh, because it's practically the same as increasing the edge, cost of the edge to okay, infinity. Okay, because it was unclear. Okay. Then... Uh, Can, can I continue with with, uh, with your questions? Yeah. Uh, okay. The next was about the uh, um, best results for the experiment. Uh, yeah. The parameter that is under consideration in this question it influences both the effectiveness of the algorithm and the computation time. So the the balance of these two magnitudes, uh, that is the acceptable values for the effectiveness and computation time can be seen as uh, the best results. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, yeah. because I now, now I can hear uh, both uh, Russian and English, and that means that I don't, don't hear anything. Hello, yes, now, uh, okay. Could you <laughs> repeat this, please, your answer? Hello. I cannot hear anything. Dr. Ramble, can you hear me now? Now I can hear you. Yes. Can you hear the applicant? Can you hear Roman? Roman, can you say something? Okay, can you hear now? Oh, but well, not so good. Okay. Um, I'll try. Should I be louder or should I be more? I don't know. Yeah, but it's the quality is uh, very bad. I would say before I could hear you perfectly. Now it's. Uh, I I think I will have to guess what what you are saying. Should I be louder or should I stand farther from the mic? Yeah. Okay. Let's try. Okay. Is this better? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I should probably repeat the answer to my to your last question about the best results, right? You didn't hear that. Yeah, no, yeah, right, right. Okay, the answer was that uh, the parameter that is under consideration here in this question it influences both the effectiveness of the algorithm and the computation time. So the balance between these two magnitudes. Uh, the acceptable values for the effectiveness and the acceptable value for the computation time. These uh, the combination of uh, these two uh, values can be seen as the best results. Uh -huh. okay. clear. Okay. Okay, next question was about the uh, experimental experimental evaluation. Uh, it's true, it's not clearly stated in the text uh, of the dissertation, but this assumption is true. Uh, that is, the experiments reconcile with the complexity formula obtained theoretically, thus confirming it. Uh, okay, so it would be, okay, now it's too late, but it would be perfect if you could uh, prov provide the chart this is my theoretical and this is practical and that would be okay you know everything would be clear 
Okay, let's continue. Okay, uh, the next question was about the optimality of the solution. Um, of course, an important question. Uh, the algorithm offered for the resource constraint shortest path is indeed exact and provides an optimal solution. Uh, despite the fact that uh, the first phase of the algorithm was constructed as heuristic, uh, the second phase is implemented as a branch and bound method, which finds every possible path and selects the best one. So uh, the algorithm is indeed uh, exact. Okay, a, a support question: Do you have uh, what is the? Do you have a time constraint for finding these solutions, or any other constraint like resource constraints, a given number of steps? Uh, well, you, well you, you run the algorithm in f until it finds the solution. Uh, yes, we do run it until it finds or finds that it, uh, the problem doesn't have a solution. But you maybe can say that the time constraint is the non-incremental algorithm. So the incremental algorithm has to be faster than the non-incremental one. So this is kind of a soft time constraint, I can say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And the last question uh, was about the performance. Uh, of the algorithm and uh, shape of the graph. This is, uh, of course, an important direction for the future work on the problem. We certainly plan on broadening the sets of uh, data on which the experiments are performed. Uh, but unfortunately, such research was not performed in the scopes of this dissertation. OK, clear. Thank you. I'm fully satisfied with the answers. Thank you very much. Uh, Okay, now let me continue in Russian, and let me let me answer to the questions of Sergei Poznikov. So you asked about the the formula, and the second question about the specific example and I agree with the remarks I would like to combine my responses to both comments into one the remark correctly states that the formula for weight distribution is theoretical and the study of the actual distribution of traffic congestion in the city can be singled out in a separate study it would be noted that the algorithm solves the general variant of the problem regardless of the specific example uh, which was the the goal for the algorithm and the example used in the dissertation shows one of the possible cases where the problem of resource constraint shortest path can be applied Andrei Nikolaevich Terekhov I have already answered one question about the the structure um, I cannot say that uh, it is poorly structured. The second chapter almost entirely presents the original material uh, and the, the description of the previously known algorithm is provided in the third chapter. It is fair to say that the already known algorithm is described in detail in the third chapter. However, it is done because the works, so to speak, is built on the shoulders of the giants. That is, this algorithm is the basis for my own algorithm proposed in the thesis. To understand the new algorithm, it is necessary to understand the previously known algorithm, I think, as uh, uh, f for the, the weights uh, distribution, the model, we used it only for the experiment and make the experiment close to, to the real life for uh, the cities it can be connected pretty closely with the real life, the results that we have obtained. So the first comment from Igor Alexandrovich. I agree that changes that do not affect the existing optimal solution should not affect the operation time of the algorithm. And for this reason, at the very beginning of both algorithms, there are checks for triviality and feasibility of the task. Um, and, uh, in the, and in the remark, uh, there is much uh, time to the description of somebody else's algorithm, but it is necessary for further understanding of the structure and work of the new algorithm because it is based on the data obtained through the work of a different algorithm. The next commentary on the graphs. 
the graphs on which the experiments are carried out can hardly be called big. However, the main goal was to achieve scalability, that is to show that the algorithm depends more on the number of changes in the graph than on the total amount of data. And um, about the statistical characteristics, yes, the, the data given in the summary are given without statistical characteristics. The results of the algorithm are shown in the graphs where um, the standard deviation of the calculation time is indicated by vertical lines. Yuri Kazimirovich, definitely it was difficult to avoid uh, typos and orthographic uh, errors in orthography, and I can fully agree with that. Thank you. Are there any questions of those present? not members of the dissertation council, not more than five minutes. If there are any people who would like to intervene or contribute, the general commentary of the scientific supervisor Speech of the scientific supervisor, please. The floor is yours. Uh, dear colleagues, I won't dwell upon the thesis and the contents of the work. We have discussed the topicality, but I would like to pay your attention to the fact that the results as uh, Robert uh, mentioned, can be applied in a wide range of tasks, not, not only in the traffic congestion and transportation studies, but that can be bioinformatics or some other areas. I won't dwell upon this. And uh, really, in the work, uh, a vast uh, uh, effort was put on studies and research of what has been already done because it is based on a, on the algorithms developed before because it gives us the opportunity to obtain the new results that can complement effectively and feasibly and that can be done in a short amount of time, and I'm satisfied with the work of the applicant within the past years that we have conducted together. It was a very difficult start for him. He had to change his scientific supervisor, not, and it was not his fault, but there was a very difficult situation with Vladimir Olegovich Safonov. That's why he had to enter a new field of studies. And uh, as the result, I can, I can say that uh, the applicant deserves to be awarded a degree. Thank you. Now it's time for discussion, five minutes discussion by members of the board on the award of a scientific degree. I ask you to turn off the sound at the meetings broadcast at this time and I, those who are not members of the dissertation council, please leave the room. I will invite you when the meeting is over.
please guests and colleagues who are not members of the dissertation council, please go back to the room. The meeting continues. Please turn on the audio of the meeting, make sure that it works. The crucial moments of the dissertation council's meeting are going to take place right now. I read the question of awarding a degree to an open roll call vote. I remind you that the decision of the Dissertation Council on awarding an academic degree is considered positive if more than half, but not less than three members of the Dissertation Council who participated in the meeting voted for it, according to paragraph 23 of the Order of Awarding Academic Degrees in St. Petersburg State University, Appendix No. 1 to the Order. So. Council member Terikhov Andrei Nikolaevich, your opinion? I vote for. Thank you. I vote for. Council member Bismertny Igor Alexandrovich, your opinion? Thank you. I vote for. Council member Pasnikov Sergei Nikolaevich. Your opinion? I vote for. Thank you. <laughs> Council member Robert Ramble, your opinion? For. Yag Chairman of the Council, I vote for. Thus, dear colleagues and guests, I declare that from five participants in the meeting of the Dissertation Council, five voted for, no one voted against, and no one abstained. The decision was made to award the degree of Candidate of Science in Physics and Mathematics in the specialization 05.13.11 Mathematical and Programming Software Support of Computers, Complexes and Computer Networks to Guralnik Roman Igorevich. The final word of the applicant. First of all, I would like to thank the Dissertation Council for the interest towards my work for the time, and uh, I would like to thank my parents and my friends who supported me throughout this uh, time, and I would like to express my gratitude to my scientific supervisor, Boris Nesevich Novikov, who contributed a lot to the defense procedure. Thank you for cooperation. The meeting is declared closed. Thank you all for participating. Please disable the live broadcast of the meeting.